All right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and our apostles of Great Millstone taught us this truth. And salutations to the hopeful elect that's around the four corners of the globe. I'm the brother Iwa Lumia from the GM at Chicago branch here in Chicago. Come back at you with another lesson. And Lord willing, I hope it be edifying. You know, I'm going to just basically, you know, you know, do a lesson off this uh, off this video. Spiritual power will be needed. And it's definitely going to be needed. You know, based off Revelations 12 and 12, you know, the enemy coming in like a great flood. Because he know if he have uh, but a short time, you know. So spiritual power from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh that standard from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to be needed in the times that's to come. You know, so I'm going to play this clip. Yeah, and this is why spiritual power is going to be needed. And Salaki also, brother, I'm, brothers, I'm a little bit under the weather, so you might hear a little, hear a little bit of coughing here and there, Salakia. But yeah, this is why spiritual power, you know, is, uh, is going to be needed. You know, that standard is going to be needed in the times that's to come, you know, in the time of Jacob's trouble. You know, because we what? We know that Esau Edom was blessed with the sword. You know, all manner of technology. You know, Esau Edom got super soldiers under his belt, ray guns. Different things, you know, you can imagine. And what do niggas have in the hood? What they call, what, a Glock 9? You know? But uh, I'm going to just jump into some precepts. Just like the scriptures, you know, is quoted. You know, who who, who can make war with the beast? You know, only how about Shimei al Shai, you know, you know, uh, you know, can uh, take this devil out of power. You know? It's nothing that we can do, you know, to uh, to go up against these devils. You know, that's why how about Shimei al Shai, you know, ultimately need to, uh, you know, uh, bring in a standard. You know, give us that spiritual power in the times that's to come. <coughs> so this is the book of Revelations 13 and 4. It says, they worship the dragon, which gave power unto the beast. And they worship the beast, saying, who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? Right, nobody is able to make war with the beast. Who is able to make war with Esau Edom? You know, a lot of these niggas, you know, that's in the hood with these guns and different things like that, thinking they're going to do something against Esau's mass artillery, his technology. That, you know, Yahweh Bashim al has blessed them with, you know. It's nothing that we can do against these devils. It's nothing that any of these nations can do against these devils. That's why we need to wait upon Yahweh Bashim al until he raises that standard. You know, give us that spiritual power because it's nothing that we can physically do to this devil, you know, on a carnal level until Yahweh Bashim al say so. You know, so that's why we have to, <coughs> that's how we, you know, that's why we have to wait upon the Lord, you know, to, you know, to uh, raise that standard, you know, that spiritual power. You know, giving us the ability to fly, you know, give us the ability, you know, you know, to do all these different, you know, miraculous things. But let's continue. It's nothing that we can do against this devil until you help us from y'all lift that standard up. So with that being said, it's the book of Isaiah 59 and 19. It says, so shall they fear the name of the Lord. You help us from y'all from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood. And that's what Esau Edom is getting ready to do. Come in like a flood. You can read Revelation 12 and 12. That's a good scripture to go with this. It says, the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, shall lift up a standard against him. Right? The Lord is going to bless his man with spiritual power. The Lord is going to have his angels cover his men, his hopeful elect. You know? Lord willing to be a part of that number. 
That's what we're looking for, that standard. You know, so we can crush Esau Edom. Because it's nothing that we can do on a carnal level against Esau Edom. And like I said, a lot of these niggas, what they call what a Glock 9, try to, you know, try to rage war against Esau Edom. <coughs> but what is going to come to not? Because what? They don't have the Lord on their side. That's why it says, you know, those that wait upon me, I shall renew their strength. That's in uh, Isaiah, the 40th chapter. You know, so we ultimately have to wait on the Lord to lift that standard up for us. Because divine intervention and spiritual power is going to be needed uh, in those times. Just like the video, you know, uh, you know, the, uh, just like I showed you the video. Esau Edom has all, you know, manner of type of tech, you know, super soldiers, different things like that. But let's continue. This is the book of Isaiah 40 and 31. It says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint. Right. That's talking about that spiritual power, you know, different Marvel comics or DC movies you watch. Or you see characters like the Flash, Superman, you know, um, uh, you know, like I mentioned, the Flash, you know, uh, Shazam, different characters like that, you know. That has that superpower. They, you know, they basically, you know, um, they basically copied the scriptures and made these different characters. You know, this was the spiritual power we're, we're looking for. You know, running and not being weary. You know, you shall walk and not faint. You know, this is what we're looking for. This is ultimately what we're going to need. You know, in those times that's to come. That's that standard which I read in uh, Isaiah fifty nine and nineteen. You know, the Lord is going to renew our strength. But we have to wait upon the Lord for, uh, for us to receive these things. You know, it's not going to be by our own hands. Uh, but let's continue. Um, this is the book of Psalms 18 and 29. It says, For by thee I have ran through, uh, run through a troop, and by my power have I leaped over a wall. And this is, <coughs> this, is Tom, uh, this is King David. It says, it's, uh, As for Yahweh, he, uh, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. For who is, uh, for who, for who is, uh, God saved the Lord or who is, uh, who is a rock saved our power? It is, Salakia, it is, uh, it is Yahweh that girdeth, uh, girdeth me with strength and making my way perfect. It says, um, he making my feet like hands feet and set me upon my high places. He teaches my hands to war so that a bow of steel is broken by my arms. Right. Even David, King David has spiritual power, you know. Mighty King David has spiritual power, you know. He was sleeping over a wall, you know. He blocked the, as it says in uh, in 34, he said he was, he, he blocked uh, so that a bow of steel is uh, broken by my arms. Right. You know. The Lord, you know, the Lord's mighty man, <coughs> Salakia. The Lord's mighty man, you know, has spiritual power, you know, we're going to have spiritual power, just like our forefathers of old, you know, as the scripture says, nothing new under the sun, you know, how, how our, you know, how the Lord protected our forefathers back then, you know, bless them with spiritual power. The Lord is going to bless us with spiritual power. You know, all we have to do is just, you know, wait upon you, you know, you know, you know, even Samson, you know. You know, uh, with the uh, with the uh, with the uh, with the bone of a uh, of an ass. You know, I believe it was a uh, a jawbone of an ass, if I'm not mistaken. You know, putting those Philistines to death. Uh, this is the book of Leviticus 26 and 8. And once again, brother Salaki, I'm a little bit under the weather, trying to get through this lesson. But Lord willing, I hope it's you know it still be edifying. This is the book of Leviticus 26 and 8. It says, "And five of you shall chase an hundred." And a hundred of you shall put ten thousand to flight, and your enemy shall fall before you by the sword. All right, this is what's coming. Like the scriptures say, you know, uh, how it's quoted, you know, now my battle axes and weapons of war. The Lord is going to use his elect to fuck up Esau Edom. You know, it's nothing that we can do on our own right now until Yahweh by Shemel shall lift up that standard. What I read back in Isaiah 59 and 19, you know. So, yeah, we're going to be chasing a lot of these devils down to flight. As, it's, uh, as it says in Leviticus 26 and 8, I'm going to read it again. It says, if five of you shall chase an hundred, and a hundred of you shall put ten thousand to flight, and your enemy shall fall before you by the sword. Right. And when the Lord ultimately raises up that standard, it's going to be nothing that these devils can do. You know? 
So with that being said, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to end up by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekha'a Kodash. The one to the elders and the apostles to Great Millstone taught us this truth and salutations to the hopeful elect that's around the four corners of the globe. Lord willing, I hope this lesson was edifying. Until next time, wah, a ba ba ba.